Phew. See if anybody gets on here this morning. Everybody. Happy Wednesday today. Uh, a little chilly, but it's a still a beautiful day. I'm out uh, checking some wheel lines that the guys moved or were supposed to move. Um, if they haven't, they'll be here pretty soon. I um, hope you guys are having a good week and that we're all fair and well. Uh, I think, you know, been some pretty good weather. Hopefully it gets starts warming up a little bit. Um, oh, told you. I wanted to talk to you guys about Jonah. You know, I started reading that book this morning. Um, and, and if you're familiar with the book of Jonah, you'll remember that Jonah, you know, God came to Jonah and said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh. And Jonah basically said, there's no way I'm going to Nineveh. You know, those people, they're crazy. I forget that. And so, Jonah had the bright idea that he could run away from God, <laughs> and so he uh, he hopped on a boat with a couple guys, and all of a sudden, you know, things started going crazy, and the guys thought, "Oh my God, we're gonna die on this boat!" and 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 they said somebody's really made God mad, and so they cast lots to see who who's on God's bad side on the boat and the lot comes out and Jonah Jonah and Jonah's like well I guess I guess I've got a secret for you uh, oops, sorry got a secret for you you know uh, I'm actually running away from running away from God right now so it's probably me um, and he tells him go ahead and throw me overboard um, and everything's gonna go back to peace everything's gonna go back to normal and you'll be safe and so they didn't even hesitate they chucked him overboard and, and it says uh, Jonah swallowed by a fish, right? A large fish. But if you read it, it says God provided a large fish to swallow Jonah. Think about that. God provided that. That was exactly what Jonah needed because otherwise Jonah is going to end up dead, right? So I want you to think in your own life. You know, you might be going through some troubles now. You might be going through a storm. Um... But God knows exactly what He, what you need, right, to go through this storm and to get to wherever you wanted. Jonah's destination was ultimately Nineveh. That's where God wanted him. And so he finally arrives to Nineveh. And, and, and what's it say? You know, God does great things in that city through Jonah, right? And so, uh, you know, you might just be sitting in the water and you might be waiting for God to provide you the whale to save you and to get you where you're going. Um, but God always provides any time, any season, on time, in time, every time is when God provides. Uh, you know, a seed, a lot of the times a seed, and I think this is amazing as a farmer, uh, you go out, you plant your, your corn seed and and you know four days goes by and there's still nothing poking out of the ground and and you dig down and you see that that seed has been busy working and it's got roots coming down in the ground some of the, the seeds greatest moments happen in the dark uh, it happens in the unseen you know God's working in your life right now in ways that you can't see or understand from the outside perspective there's just flat dirt out in that field until better wrap this up I got phone calls until uh, action starts happening you know and, and, and a couple days later the seed pops out after it had its greatest struggle of germinating and pushing up through the soil and it's finally out uh, to, to serve its purpose to soak in the Sun uh, to, to produce a crop and so so some of your greatest moments might be might be getting ready to happen now in your struggle in the darkness when you can't see but God will provide your fish he'll provide whatever you need uh, God's got a plan for you and and he's gonna see you through no matter what so let me pray for you real fast and we'll get going Heavenly Father I thank you for today I thank you for the 
the weather we're having, Lord. I pray that the sun would come out. I ask that you'd keep us all safe, watch over us. I pray for the speaker tonight at Wednesday service, and I pray for Sunday also, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody. We'll see you all later.